In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the Easy Transfer Wizard in um, Windows 7. Uh, this is useful if you want to uh, move over to a new computer. You could transfer your data and settings over to it. Uh, to get to this, we go to the Start menu, go to Control Panel, then go to uh, System and Security, and then you go down to Backup and Restore. And then on the left hand side, you've got Windows Easy Transfer. So you click on that and you're presented with the easy transfer wizard and it says uh, the things it transfers over is user accounts, documents, music pictures, email, internet favorites, videos and more. So you just click on next and then you choose where you want to um, uh, store the transfer file. So most common one is the uh, external hard disk or USB flash drive so we just click on that. Um, this will be the old computer because we're moving from the old computer to the new one. So you click on the old computer at the bottom. Now it will basically scan uh, for files. So it may take a little while, so you may need to be patient. Okay, so it's now scanned for files uh, and then it's going to estimate the uh, actual size of the transfer. Um, so you can wait for that. I'm just going to wait for a little bit. Okay, so um, here is where you could choose your user accounts. Um, you, may not want, you, may, you may not want to transfer all of them, so um, you could use this scroll down menu here, and you could just untick the ones you don't want to transfer. So as you can see here, this user account has 31.8 gigabytes. Uh, if that's okay, you can go ahead and press next. Alternatively, you can go to customize here if you find this a little bit too big, and there may be things you might not want to transfer over, so we're gonna customize. And from here, you could choose exactly what's going to be transferred over. As you can see, we've got documents. It tells you how much space uh, has been taken up by the documents here. And you could basically untick the ones you don't want. If you want to go even more advanced than that, you just click Advanced. And from there, you could choose uh, basically every folder on your computer. You can go through the whole lot and you just basically uh, tick the ones you want to transfer over. And you could expand and uh, things like that, uh, the folders. So basically, uh, tick the ones you want, or untick, and press save. When you finish, click on next. And then it gives you an option of creating a password uh, for your transfer file, um, just in case someone else grabs hold of it. So you choose a password, and then confirm the password here, and then go save. And here is where it will ask you uh, where you want to put this transfer file. Um, so you basically uh, choose the location for this file. Um, let's uh, say this was my external hard drive here. And you could basically just choose a name for it here. You can leave it as it is if you prefer. And then press save. And it will save it to that location. Okay, so let's say we've... Uh, uh, done the transfer and it's been saved so now we're on a new computer and we're now going to um, open that uh, easy transfer file okay so we go to the easy transfer wizard again and then go to next and then you go to the external hard disk again but this time um, we're going to go to this is my new computer and here it says, um, has Windows Easy Transfer already saved your files from your old computer? Um, it has, so we click on yes. And then we choose the location uh, where you last saved it. So it would have been here, um, obviously I didn't save it. Uh, but you'd click on the file, uh, the Easy Transfer file that you saved, and then press open. And then it will go through the process of restoring that for you. So just follow what it says on the screen. Um, so that's basically it. That's how you can easily transfer your files and settings over to a new computer. Hope you found this helpful. Uh, check out my website www.whiteclick.co.uk um, and also you can see the forum there for some more useful um, guides on how to use a computer.